welcome. I'm Niall and this is the CNC3 48 hour film reel. We challenged our nation's filmmakers, amateur and professionals to write, film, edit and deliver a movie back to us in only two days. But there's a catch. We instructed all of our filmmakers to use our required elements. In this season, our required elements were a large natural body of water, a Guardian newspaper, a street vendor, and to use the phrase, if not now, then when, if not me, then who? No. If not now, then when? If not me, then who? We'll also be sitting down with some of the directors and producers to hear their thoughts on what it was like to participate in this 48 hour film race. Hi, I'm Marsden Gordon Toiler. I'm the director on many other titles that I would hold in the film Sealing the Deal. Going forward with the film race, we didn't premeditate anything at all. We didn't plan anything. Actually, we actually was not going to do it because we thought that maybe we wouldn't be able to, to get the resources and do things in a short space of time, right? Everyone was down for it except me. I is the one that's overthinking it because normally I operate with a lot of planning, right? So this was the exciting part in doing it in a short space of time. On Friday, we were fresh with everything when we got the instructions and we actually sat in the Queen's Park Savannah where we decided to come up with a story and they actually sat in their cars and decided to write the story while everyone tried to fit a role in how we could get this done. Hi, I am Prudence Bahau. I am the writer. In fact, um, we had at least three stories that were written before and when we presented it to the director, Mazden, he didn't like it at all. We had to scrap the entire thing. And that was frustrating after we sat and wrote all of it but we didn't understand because we, this, we are novices. All of us never had any experience in film before. We were about to give up, but then he, he sort of recommended what he wanted. So then we had to come up with a whole new script all over again. So I can, I can in fact remember the very first scene, the very first take, when um, I had no idea what I was doing. And I remember looking straight into the camera all the time. And that was a no-no, that's something that you don't ever do. All right, so, so that was flag. Uh, take two, I, I still did it. But by take three, I, I think I realized, okay, there's a reminder in my head, hey, you're not supposed to do that. And the ice cream melted. And the ice cream was melting because our take was based on holding an ice cream cone from the ice cream vendor. So we had to, I think, buy a second ice cream cone at one yeah. point. And because everybody was um, interested in holding equipment and so on, nobody had a wallet to pay for the ice cream. <laughs> So we had to go and run and get money now to pay the vendor. You know, so all that was part of the, the drama behind the scenes that you don't see in the final product. After getting that first scene out of the way, moving to the second scene, you know, it started to flow because you learn as you, as you move forward, you know. So in, in a short space of time, we were able to kind of move forward from, from that learning process into simply moving forward with the rest of scenes. And I would say to CNC3 that continue to, to push these type of events because it's a big motivation. Like I, I included a lot of people, as, is, as you will hear, they're new to film, right? And going forward on their own, they now have this passion in them. Like if I ever get called upon from someone else, they, they now want to do it. So I think Trinidad have a lot of like culture, a lot of things we can bring to the, the table to elevate the, the country and the Caribbean. And what we need is the, the, the population to be a little more expressive in what they do. So this is needed. So continue, please, you know, continue.
Alan. I'm so happy in this moment in our lives where we are. That's right. All our dreams are coming true. Hello? Alan, I have something really important to discuss with you. I am busy right now. No, this is urgent. I just got word that they are negotiating with our buyer and things are not looking favorable for us. Everything is on the line. No, 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 this can't be happening. What should I do? You need to go right now and see our buyer immediately. She's actually in a conference at a hotel. I already made reservations for you. Just head there and try to meet with her now. Okay, I'm going. We need to speak. Do we have an appointment? We need to speak about what business do you have. Oh, I remember. I place that purchase on hold. I'm considering another developer. If not now, then when? And if not me, then who? I'm sorry, sir. It's a done deal. You'll have to excuse me now. Oh, bro, we need more credits for this skin. Yeah, go ask your mom for the skin. You need skin for this? Yeah. Look at this. Wow, you're so smart. You should go work for my mom. Who's your mom? Madison Harris. Really? Yeah. I just met with her over business and it didn't go well. <laughs> Can you put in a good word for me? Okay, sure, no problem. Thanks for the skins and I'll do that. I still can't believe this deal fell apart. Time for me to search for another job. very insistent in giving you a second chance. He says that you were very kind to him, and he also says that your company software will be a great asset to my operation. Well, I'm happy to hear that. And you could rest assured that we will work very hard to exceed your expectations. Well, I'm glad what I just heard. I'm very happy. Elon, you have just stole a deal from the other developer. So congratulations. Thank you very much.
that tenders, I looking after seeing what I we, it involved, I would say go at it. Don't matter what equipment you have, even if it's just a phone, I would say go at it. That was not the, the issue. What what I would say though is just get a lot of planning involved. Even if you're a novice, try to research just your planning structure. And once you come up with that plan, yes it might you might move off of it, but don't worry about equipment. Just get a plan. So which everything's supposed to start, pre-production, and just go at it and you're gonna have fun.